Okay, people. I'm trying to clean my dishes. I tell you, I got to wash dishes. I'm trying to wash dishes, and of course, I'm going through changes with this, these things. And this. But there are a lot of people coming in this uh, storage facility that you can tell that they're not they're just so upset. And of course, when I pick up my phone, they vanish like the two just walk that way. Um, we have a lot of fires going here in California. There should be a lot of evacuation. But I see a lot of new people coming here in the storage space. Why would they do that? I'm waiting on God to send somebody to evacuate me. I'm not trying to keep my things in storage. So why is all this activity here? Well, all these, and like I tell you, you can tell by the class of people, they don't need these storage facilities. Some of them, you can tell, like government people. Some got money. They don't need no little unneeded storage spaces like this. So something else is going on here. Because, as I said, all these wild parties here, and you go out looking for storage space in California, when you should be getting rid of a truck, trying to get out of town, makes no sense. But see, they are senseless. And as I said, the caliber of these white people coming in here now, you can tell there's not any storage space. All right, guys. Oh, I miss uh, Metal's office yesterday. Well, I don't want to, so I'm going to make it about three minutes. I miss uh, Metal's office yesterday. I showed the video where they uh, had me uh, try to set me up to use one plug. And I was using the plug by the thing, by the uh, monitor, what you call man. And my equipment was all to the side. But these things kept coming in, stamping on my cords and my equipment anyway. So I bust with two of them. I said, don't you see my stuff there? Why would you step on? Because as a human being, as a person, if I see somebody's phone or stuff, I would not step on it. I would make sure... You know, even if I had to, I would make sure I never stepped on anybody's uh, devices. So I argued with two of them yesterday at Miss Metal's office. Don't you see my things there? One of them talking about, well, move it. Well, all you had to do is say it was in your way. Why would you step deliberately on people's things? So I didn't bust with two of them, actually three. And then the third guy. White guy, he comes up, and he steps on it. I said, didn't you see my things there? He said, yes, but I had to do it. And I knew then, because you could tell the way that he was, that he wasn't all there. And I tell you, to get in their bodies, and they do things to force them without, against their will to do things. And when I asked him, I said, didn't you see my things there? He said, yes. But I had to do it. So he was forced to step on my cords, my phone cords. So these things are, I, that's why I can't judge anybody. You know, because I don't know who's doing what to who. You know what I'm saying? So I can't pass judgment on anybody. Because God knows who's forcing people to do things, how they're, uh, some of them are controlled like zombies. I can't pass judgment. I can only do let them do their thing. My thing is, I've said this a long time, I have to bless them all and let God separate them later on. You understand? Know God can separate who's who. So I just bless everybody and let God separate them. You understand know what I'm saying? So I told him that I was sorry for busting at him because, like you said, he couldn't help himself. He was being poised to step on my devices. All right, guys, I love you. Be prepared, be informed, be aware. Things are still moving ahead at accelerated speed. God bless you.